Wow! O'Connell travelled with a Dr. Miley, a priest, on his way to Rome to get confession from the Pope before he died. But when he got to Genoa, he complained that he had severe headaches and he lay down in bed and it was very obvious within a couple of hours that this man was dying. He was 73 years of age and he had shrunk from the great man that could speak to thousands of people without the use of a microphone. He had shrunk down into a, a, a shriveling, quiet little man. At the back of the crypt are O'Connell's recorded last words. My body to Ireland, my heart to Rome, and my soul to heaven. And when he died, they took him very literally about that. And they took his heart out of his body. And it was taken to the Irish College in Rome, placed in a silver urn, and placed in the vault of the Irish College. And it stayed there until 1905, when the college went to move, and when they went to look for the heart, it was gone, and it's never been recovered. The rest of them was here though, in a lead-lined coffin in the center of the vault. It's decorated in that Celtic romantic style, showing Ireland had a style or flavor all of its own and around the walls show different achievements from O'Connell's life. When he was the first Catholic Lord Mayor for Dublin, the first Catholic to take a seat in Westminster and called to the Irish Bar. One of the reasons the tower was built 168 feet in height was that at the time in Dublin they were building the Wellington Monument and Nelson's Pillar and all of these icons were going up to British imperialism and British military uh, uh, um, powers around the world. And to build O'Connell's Tower 168 feet high would mean it would dominate the Dublin skyline. So it was kind of a race and competition to see who could build the tallest. The tower itself came under attack though, um, less than a hundred years later, in, in, in 1971, when a group of men came down here and laid bombs under the tower in the, in, in the vault of it. They went off, they didn't destroy the tower, but they destroyed the staircase within, so you're not able to climb to the top of the tower today. I myself got up to the top of the tower when we had it scaffolded and the view from up there is spectacular because you're hundreds of feet above the sea level and you're looking down into the valley of the city, looking down on Liberty Hall and you can see the mountain range of Wicklow and even the Cooley Mountains uh, from the top of it. The cemetery is looking into ways of rebuilding the staircase so we can get visitors in here to have truly a panoramic view of Dublin from its dead centre.